mystical lightnings and welcome to lena mystic where we embrace our spiritual awakenings by identifying our personal power and authentic selves i'm here to help you all to decode spiritual signs and synchronicity so that you can get on your authentic path to purpose. Today's video is just a list of my five fall favorites that just fit perfectly in your space with the colors, the tones, the earth tones that they have within them. These five fall favorites can really help you with grounding during, you know, this, this time of year where we realize we're coming up to the end of the year and that can be kind of scary for us because we had goals and we maybe didn't complete all of them or maybe we lost someone this year and we just want a sense of comfort and we want a sense of stability and love and grounding in our lives. Well, these five crystals were specifically picked out to help anyone who may be experiencing seasonal depression or would just like to liven up their space and liven up the energy in their home. I hope that you enjoy these. Feel free to use these crystals at work, school, home, in your pocket, in your wallet, wherever, whatever size you can get, wherever you can put it. You know, and I wish you all the light and the love, and the peace that you desire and deserve in your life. We're going to go ahead and get started with number one. Red Jasper. Wow, you guys. If you don't know what Red Jasper is, it's about time that you go and get one because Red Jasper is absolutely beautiful. And Red Jasper is associated with your root chakra. It just reminds me of, I don't know why it reminds me of iguanas, but it also reminds me of lava and, you know, like a lava stone or something like that. Something very strong that went through some things and is going through the healing process. Now, I know that to a lot of people, rocks are not living, stones are not living, but to me, everything is a living source of energy and red jasper is extremely powerful when it comes to grounding healing it even can alleviate sexual trauma or stress relief and it brings all of these great things into your life all of these crystals bring this sense of grounding and this sense of peace and i think the red jasper is for those people who consider them to be survivors and it's like a superhero crystal. You may have gone through a lot of things, but red jasper can help you to figure out your truth and navigate through your trauma so that you can come out on the stronger side of things. A few more things that it can help you with is courage, sexual confidence, protection, safety, balance, boundaries, overall confidence, resilience, and stability these are just a few things out of the many many properties and healing properties that they have carnelian agate is number two and that's associated with your sacral and your root chakra carnelian agate to me is definitely one of those other survivor crystals i honestly think a lot of the red ones i think of them as survivors because they're associated with your root chakra and i feel like that's where most of your trauma is associated and where it's stored your root and your sacral chakra so i feel like carnelian agate is just this uh like it gives the vibe of the shadow of the night and the darkness before the light and i think when you get carnelian agate or when it shows up in your life it's telling you that things are going to get better and it understands all of the difficulties that you faced in your life and it's saying hey let's let's get through these things together very similar to the red jasper some people even get these two crystals mixed up so it just speaks to the similar properties that they have carnelian agate is a perfect crystal to put into your space because of the different colors that you can find in it i mean it has all of these earth tones in it and i think that it's absolutely stunning it's gorgeous and the properties that it has are extremely powerful as well let's go over a few of those vitality motivation courage creativity helps with positive life choices changes success fearlessness grounding protection ambition sex manifestation confidence persistence hope purpose healing and of course many many other properties as well the third one i wanted to talk about is tiger's eye and this is honestly one of my favorite i think that tiger's eye looks like sedona 
Like, <laughs> I feel like they just took a piece of Sedona and that's what Tiger's Eye is. And very similar to Sedona, it's a very high frequency, you know, thing, a very high frequency item. And this Tiger's Eye can completely transform your or your space i mean whatever wherever you put it it can transform that space and transform you as a person as well especially if it's highly charged tiger's eye is associated with your sacral and your root chakra it can bring prosperity and enough confidence for you to believe that you should be prosperous and that you deserve to be prosperous it can bring you good luck it can help you set boundaries of course it gives grounding and provides protection for you as well it is for sure an empowering crystal to have and i think that it fits with any outfit because of how earthly tone it is so if you were to buy a crystal or a bracelet with tiger's eye it would fit with almost anything that you have and i think that that's perfect because i like to wear my crystals a lot as you can see i have rose quartz right here and i've got tiger's eye black onyx hematite I mean, I've got all the crystals on right now, <laughs> which makes sense because I do sell them as well. But I love Tiger's Eye because of how subtle but powerful it is. Now, these last two, most of you guys are probably going to be completely familiar with because they're very popular and easy to get crystals. So number four is rose quartz and we just talked about this on my necklace i love rose quartz it's great for instilling more love into your life whether it be self-love love from others giving love to other people whatever it is it really instills this amount of love within you within your space and of course love brings joy as well and in a lot of cases true love will bring you peace i think that if you are going through any trauma forgiveness that rose quartz is a great crystal to have because it can help you through that process it's great for forgiving yourself and forgiving others it gives you this sense of empathy the sense of joy even and balance and trust and it actually allows you for once to have fun so if you feel like you've been uptight you've been working too much a rose quartz could be perfect for you instilling this balance this work and life balance would be great for those of you who feel like you overwork or you don't work enough Enough. this may be kind of called the nickname of like the fulfillment crystal because it kind of does have a lot in one and I just love the rose quartz I think it's great I don't know if it really is a cleansing crystal but it does give you that sense of clarity and cleansing in your space <laughs> I guess it's kind of like a clarifying shampoo for your space for your home and for your aura and of course the rose quartz is great for your heart chakra and your crown chakra the last one, number five, I wanted to talk to you guys about is the amethyst, the also popular amethyst. I am in love with amethyst. The amethyst is extremely powerful and it is one of those crystals you definitely want to have because you will start to really be in tune with the world around you and realize how connected all of the world is. It brings a sense of inner peace, balance, helps you to manifest allows you to be relieved from stress and anxiety. It even relieves headaches. Now, we kind of talked about how the rose quartz is a clarifying shampoo. The amethyst is that deep conditioner, okay? <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. It's that deep conditioner. It's going to really, really soften you up and allow you to open yourself up to the world. Amethyst is definitely one of my all-time favorites and I think it's great for the fall season because it can just help you work through anything you may be dealing with. This is a uh, time of year where a lot of people are experiencing seasonal depression. Maybe someone lost someone this year or they realize that they can't go on with someone anymore because of a breakup or because an actual physical loss of someone. I think that that all five of these crystals can really help you to deal with those things and help you to boost the grounding that you really do deserve in your life most of these crystals are associated with your root chakra so the grounding is also associated with your root chakra all of that trauma is associated with your root chakra so because all these crystals instill that grounding you can have a better lifestyle with these five 
fall favorites that I listed in this video. If you would like to purchase any of them, they are pretty much on any website that you look up with crystals. Try to make sure they're authentic. I myself do sell crystals on my website. Most of these that I listed in here should be on my website currently. I sell them in crystal form, cluster form, necklace form i mean you'll find all types of stuff on there and i really do hope that this video helped you guys to liven up your space and thank you so much for watching make sure to like share subscribe and comment down below and i will see you in another video see ya